On October 27, 2018, Robert Bowers walked into the Tree of Life Synagogue in the Squirrel Hill neighborhood of Pittsburgh, and he murdered 11 innocent Jewish worshipers who had gathered to share together in the practice of their faith. No verdict can set things right or restore what was lost that morning. About five years ago, many of us were right here in this room. This was the space where the families awaited news about their loved ones. Today marks the end of a very long chapter. Today we've received an immense embrace from the halls of justice around all of us to say that our government does not condone anti-Semitism in its most vile form that we've witnessed and that we were embraced by a system that has supported, nurtured us, and upheld us, and made the point very clear. We have the right to practice our Judaism, and no one will ever take that right away from us. For the final verdict in this case, I feel relief. And the jury sat through months of horror and delivered justice to my mom and everyone that was killed and everyone injured and everyone beyond. Finally, justice has been served. And even though nothing will bring my dad back, I feel like a weight has been lifted and I can breathe a sigh of relief. This moment is a step along the healing process. It doesn't bring deep comfort, but we hope, I hope, that this brings a measure of peace, peace of mind, peace in the heart, and peace in the soul. May we always remember those who were taken too soon. Joyce Feinberg, Richard Gottfried, Jerry Rabinowitz, Cecil and David Rosenthal, Daniel Stein, Bernice and Sylvan Simon, Irving Younger, Mel Wax, and Rose Malinger. May their memories be for a blessing. Thank you.